In this video, I'll be showing how to use buffers to pass values through buses. To do this, I'll use a buffer to pass in the switch input to the bus, and then take from the bus and pass it into the regist first register, as well as the second register, for two different values. From those registers, I'll output the values to the ALU to do some either arithmetic or logical operations. Then I'll use the second buffer to pass the output from the ALU into the bus, and then from the bus into register 3, which will then output the value into a set of LEDs. So first, what you want to do is you want to input whatever the first register value you want that will be used for the operation. First, I'm going to add 8 and 2 together. So for my first value, I'm going to set the bit sequence to 8. So my most significant bit will be high, and my other bits will be low. Now to pass it from the input to the first register, I need to enable the buffer and load it into the register. So I will enable the buffer, load the register, turn off the load for the register, and then disable the buffer. So now the first register is storing the value of 8. Now I need to set my bits for the value of 2. And then I will enable the buffer. Now this time I will load into register 2. Then disable the load and disable the buffer. So now register 1 holds the value of 8 and register 2 holds the value of 2. So now I will out enable the output for the two registers. So they are now passing the value of 8 and 2 into the ALU. Now here I need to set the sequence, the binary sequence to do the arithmetic operation, operation I want as well as the mode and carry. So for adding the two values together I need to have the the binary sequence high, low, low, high. So starting with S3, I have high, low, low, and high. Now my mode needs to be set to low, so my mode is low. And since this is a active low input ALU for the 74181, I have a low carry. So, with that set, it is currently outputting the result of the arithmetic operation for adding 8 and 2 together. So now I need to enable the buffer to pass it back into the bus and then to pass it out to register 3 and store it there to output into the LEDs. So I will enable right here I will enable the buffer. Now I will enable the load for the register disable the load and disable the buffer. And now I will output from the third register. So reading from the bottom up we have the value of 8 in binary, nothing for 4, 2 in binary, and nothing for 1, which adds up to 10. So adding 8 and 2 we got the binary value for 10 through the ALU by using the bus. Now what I want to do is do an a, a logical AND operation. So I'm going to come back down, disable the output from my last register, and disable the outputs for the first two registers. Now what I want to do is AND two values. The first one will be high, low, high, low. Sorry, this should be low. So it's high, low, high, low. So I'm going to again enable my buffer, load it into the first register, and disable the buffer. Now I want to pass in the value low, high, high, high. And just looking at it simply, I should get the output low, low, high, low since B1 is the only one that we kept high for both inputs. So now I'll enable my buffer, 
load it into the second register, disable my buffer, and output from the two registers. Now I need to change the sequence on the ALU first to switch over to logical operations. For a logical operation, I need to set the mode to high. And I can keep my layer carry low or high. That does not matter. And now I need to set the input sequence to do what I want it to do. Looking at the data sheet, I find that S3 needs to be high, S2 needs to be high, S1 needs to be high, and S0 needs to be low to do the logical AND operation. And now I'll enable the buffer load it into the last register, disable the load, disable the buffer, and output the result. So as I said earlier, the result should be low, low, high, low. Looking at our output, we have from the bottom low, low, high, low. So we have the correct answer. Once again, we're going to disable everything. So disable the outputs for the registers. And we want to do another logical operation, so we're going to leave the mode and carry how they are. And we're going to disable the outputs here. So now, we're going to do an arithmetic operation that only uses one value. The, sorry, not the arithmetic operation, but a logical operation. So the logical operation we're going to do is B0. So it'll invert any input that comes into B, completely ignoring the input of A. To show that it works, I'm still going to use an input for A, but it will not affect the outcome. So I will use the input that's already here of low, high, 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 and just change it to be low, high, low, high as an arbitrary input for A. So I will enable the buffer load it into the first register, disable the load, disable the buffer. Now for B, I'm going to input low, high, 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 just as I did last time. Then I will enable the buffer, load it into the second register, and disable. Now I'll output for the two registers. So the second register, which we loaded low, high, high, high into, is outputting to the B values for the ALU. So if we're getting B not, our output should be high, low, low, low. Now we already kept the carry mode how they are, so we know that it's going to do a logical operation. And the key the binary sequence for to do B not should be low, high, low, high. Again, finding that on the data sheet for the 74181N. Now I will enable the buffer for the output of the ALU, load the last register, disable the buffer, and output from the last register. So as I said earlier, we should get a high, low, low, low. And reading up on the LED, we have a high, low, low, low. So that was one arithmetic and two logical operations that we did using the bus and buffers and registers as well as an ALU.